Uh, well, that exhibition game was exactly what the doctor ordered. Um, Jim Crutchfield and Nova Southeastern play an incredibly aggressive brand of basketball. And I knew it would be great preparation for us. Uh, they exposed a lot of our weaknesses and things we can work on uh, heading into the regular season. Uh, but in addition to that, we were able to do some things uh, early in the game. We did it at a very high level. We got ahead like 37 to 11. Uh, and then um, we had a fight uh, down the stretch to, to actually win the ball game. Uh, but uh, I think we, we learned a lot from it. All right, if you have questions for Coach L, please use the hand raise function and wait to be called on. We'll start with Chris Stock from inside the U. Chris? Yeah, Coach, the, the rebounding disparity, um, just how disappointing was that? Is that a concern that you're worried about? Well, of course, defense and rebounding is the whole key. That's half the game, at least. And uh, we're not good at it. And we're a little undersized ourselves, which I thought would be a good team to match up with because we're not very big and they're not very big. But they were able to go to the basket and score. And when they did miss a shot, they just flew to the offensive boards. And our guys basically were spectators on our defensive backboards. We will watch the video and learn from it because we do have guards who can rebound. Isaiah Wong can rebound. Cam Augusti can rebound. Um, Harlan Beverly can rebound. And then our front court guys, you know, they're not used to being spread out as much as they, they were uh, tonight, but uh, they got to learn that, that uh, when the shot goes up, you can't just turn and go to the basket. You got to put a body on somebody. We didn't see Jakai and Bensley. Are, are they okay? Would you have liked to have got them in there, I guess? Yeah, I would have liked to have played them, but I, I really wanted to get that uh, starting unit some playing time and, and, and try to develop some chemistry. 60% of our starting unit did not play for us last year. Charlie Moore is new. Jordan Miller is new. Um, uh, Sam Wardenberg didn't play last year. So that's three, three fifths of our starting lineup. So I needed to give them all a lot of playing time together. We'll go now to uh, Cal Freedom from WVUM. Thanks, Alex. Coach, I have two questions for you. I'll start with the full court press. I didn't see we're playing tonight. The team definitely had some struggles with the 18 turnovers tonight. Is that going to be an issue that you're going to look to correct for the opener? Well, we had 18 turnovers for the game. Yeah, yes. correct. Correct. Okay, so here's the thing I told the coaches beforehand. Two things. I said the first team to 100 will win, and if we can keep it under 20 turnovers, we'll probably win. So I expected us to turn the ball over a lot because of the way they pressure. And um, we have to get better at it. And we've been working on it very seriously in practice. Uh, but obviously, we have a long ways to go because a lot of our, our turnovers were, were careless errors, uh, not, not uh, bad plays, bad effort. And then my next question, your team had 11 blocks on the night. Was that a point of emphasis in the offseason to be more physical around the paint? I wish we were more physical around the paint. I didn't see uh, any physicality. I do think we're, we've got some guys with uh, some serious vertical leap. You know, Harlan Beverly can block shots. Isaiah Wong can block shots. Jordan Miller can block shots. Anthony Walker can block shots. They're all very capable. But what I saw is uh, Nova Southeastern getting to the basket and laying it in on us without us blocking the shot. Thank you. All right, we'll go now to Jordan McPherson from the Miami Herald. Jordan. Thanks. Uh, hey, Coach. I uh, wanted to ask a couple of players specifically. Uh, Isaiah Wong, the 40 points in itself is something to see, but a lot of his flurry sort of came when it seemed like Nova was on some runs and he was able to stop them. Just your thoughts on him being able to, to go on those flurries, go on those runs while in order to get you guys, extend your guys' lead back out? Well, there's a reason that Isaiah Wong was picked in the preseason uh, first team all conference, because he is a scorer. Uh, he can make threes, he can make driving layups, he can make free throws. He is a high octane offensive player. Um, but he's also a terrific athlete and we've got to get him 
uh, to play uh, a little better defense. And, and uh, I thought he did block a couple of shots, which was great. Uh, but our whole our whole defensive effort needs to improve. And then just first impressions of more in a live game for you guys. Say that again. Uh, your impressions of Charlie Moore in his in his first game in the first game type right. setting for you guys. Yeah, these this game is very very different. It's an exhibition game. It's run and shoot, wide open court, and Charlie's very effective in that kind of environment. Uh, he scored the ball. He found open men. So. I thought for him, it was a good night. And I think for our guys, that amount of running is good for conditioning. We're gonna take uh, tomorrow off and then come back on Friday. All right, last question for Coach L comes from Michael Yero from 305 Sports. Michael. Hey Coach, two questions. So we, I saw you guys shoot 87% from the free throw line today. Um, was, was that an emphasis throughout the off season? And how do you think it'll help you guys move forward? Yeah, it's funny, I, I would say yes. We uh, have a drill called the uh, free throw ladder where the guys compete at the end of every practice. And uh, right now on a daily basis uh, of the 14 guys on the team, every one of them is averaging over 20 out of 25. And on many occasions, uh, the uh, competition is so intense, guys are making 25 out of 25 or 24 out of 25. So I'm hoping that'll be a major strength for us.